right in presentation. So it's not it's not it's not just uh, tailored to tailored. So it's, it's, it can be applied anywhere. So it's it's kind of a good opportunity that we are we are we are learning this in tailoring. I will try to 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 attach it to fashion. I will try because I'm not so I'm not a fashion person. But I will try as much as possible to to attach this Photoshop to fashion. Okay, let's go into the the application. It, it's uh, it's heavy, so it, the, the the system you might need to to install it on has to be of a high specification. Mostly, four gig RAM. But not nothing basic anyways, but something solid, something that won't crash at any time. This is uh, the list that I can stick with. It is not the strongest, and to me, it's, it's just on the at the base of the ladder. So, but at least it does the job. My system is not handy, so I think I'm happy with it. So, um, first, um, like I said earlier, it is like any other workspace, any other Microsoft, Microsoft Office, Microsoft Excel. If you use any of those. You can use it. I think you just need to read. That's all. So um, first, we have the file. Sorry, answer something. Is this um, Corel Draw page Photoshop. or Microsoft page? Which of the pages? Um, this is Photoshop. Corel is just like Photoshop also. Okay. I wanted to, you know, now if you want to go to Microsoft page. Just click on it, then you go scroll through uh, and get your Microsoft. So I want to know if it's PowerPoint, Microsoft, or whichever. This is a, this is a, this is that was that was Photoshop. Now I'm trying to open. This is where you're saying. Yes. Microsoft. This is open. We know this is Microsoft this page. Is Microsoft. So I'm asking what page is that? Okay. Okay. So there's a different one. Okay. Yes. These are applications. Okay. Microsoft is not. A, a page, so to say. Yeah, I get more. Uh, you understand what I Yes, think? yes. So now this is Photoshop. I'm trying to match Photoshop now. So I, I jumped it's to this an stage. Of it's an application on this one. It has a suit. In the suit, you have uh, several other applications, not just Photoshop. This is the suit. I'll try to install the ones that I created. This is the suit. This is a. Uh, there's the master collection. Yes, yeah. you know, from the so, of the so from from this point to this point, it has a video edition. That one is for audio. Uh, it has a bridge. Adobe Bridge. That one uh, links different other softwares. Like in Bridge, you can access any of these other ones. The Dreamweaver is for web designers. This one is for coders. The extension script and coders, and then this one also works with um, Pro Adobe. Adobe. Uh, it's not there. It's not there. Okay, it works with it too. Then the encoder for video guys, in design for graphics and video guys, Illustrator. We will move into Illustrator tomorrow. Photoshop, this is Photoshop we're going to talk about today. The prelude. I think that should be for video guys. I think I've mentioned Fireworks too. It's like a larger and ever version of uh, Illustrator, which is really, really big. So that is the Adobe suit. I have uninstalled a lot of them because of uh, the strength of the system. But this is primarily Adobe Suits. So out of the Adobe Suits is where we have Photoshop. Now, our Photoshop. This is our Photoshop. Oh, okay. Let me try to get... The resolution? Yes. Uh, let me reduce this. like that. Uh -huh. So this is... Yes, this is Adobe. Photoshop. Like every other Microsoft software, they have the file, the edits, some details that is that are particular to this software, the layer. Let me open, let me open Microsoft uh, Word. As we can as we can see here too, we have the file. The edit, edit should be audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Every other undo, redo. Okay, this is the 
its own redo, undo, you can when you do something you can so it's primarily like uh, another software the, the workspace is file, edit, image I will go into this later but the file, from the file you can open a new folder, you can import you can uh, go into reach the other software I mentioned earlier you can um, open your recent uh, your recent uh, your recent uh, work things you've done in recent time with it and a uh, lot of other things then uh, the edit the undo redo copy paste uh, fill stroke The, the image, this uh, tab works with your, your, the properties of your file, what you are working on. Everything you do here works with the, the, the selected uh, file. Then layer, uh, should we go into this? Layer, layer, okay, Photoshop is designed such that there are there are layers. Now, picture the layers like transparent glasses. If I put, if I put two, three transparent glasses together, let's say, now, Photoshop layers work like this. They, 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 they put your design in layers. Okay, look at this. trying to change what you can see. Now, if you look at this, what you can see is a finished product. But actually, this is one layer. It's a different shape. This is another layer. It's a different shape. This is another layer. Different shapes. But when I lay them together, Like so, when I lay them together, what you can see is just this. So that is how Photoshop is designed. You have layers. I can do something on this layer and do something on this layer. And then by the time I put them together, you see something like the, the, the poster we saw. This could have been done with Photoshop. So it's really, the poster we saw, this was done with Photoshop. 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 A lot of things can be done with Photoshop. It just depends on how you layer them. So that's that is the layer uh, tab. You can you can rename, you can duplicate layer, you can delete, you can create smart objects. Uh, I think from here, this place looks pretty complex. Or you can link layers. You can, when I work on this layer, I can make it affect my change on this layer. So let us go to type, type, type. Text. This one has to do with text. Like uh, you can type ABC. I don't want to break the file yet. That's what I'm trying to first go through. It's, then the select. Like we select in Microsoft Word, we can also select in Photoshop. So it's 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 uh, you can select when you now select, you can now modify what you selected. That's the select tab. And the filter, that is you are used to filter. Filter. I see. <laughs> Mom is not used to filter. <laughs> Mommy seems to think that, so, so yeah, okay, okay. So, so filters, this is like the software version of filters. Yeah, yeah. You put brown over Instagram filter, then yeah, YouTube. Yeah. So, then yeah, 3D, that one, it's a. Uh, I can't even run it on this system, it will crash. So, it's, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, uh, 
the view, how how this workspace it looks like. This is where you can adjust it. Now, the window. Everything on this side, on that side, you can make adjustments to it here. Like, this is how they view it. This whole thing is the workspace. This is your palette of uh, palette uh, or work area. So, these ones are the um, tabs. These tabs you can modify, like these layers that is checked here. This is it here. If I uncheck it now, if I uncheck it, it is no longer there. If I if I want anything on that side, something fast, like if I'm working on this side and I want to just flick, uh, flick out to the other side and uh, pick it, I can select it from here, like layers. You can see that it's back. Now I can uh, add more things. Let's say I want to add uh, uh, history. The history is already there. This is my default workspace. Sorry, so I didn't start from from zero. Um, then I can I can add a, a lot more things to that side. That I can that there at my fingertips. Like if I wanted to edit a text now, I just pick this and then I can edit the text. I can if I did something and I don't I want to go back a few steps, I can select it from here. So let's just uh, go straight and dive in into into the top software itself. Um, I'll be pretty basic, so it might look uh, like it is simple, but please let us let us pay attention. And if I'm moving too fast, please call me back. Now, um, first, for you to work with Photoshop, you need to first create a file. A file can be of any size, of any uh, of any shape. So primarily, I I want to create a new file. I go to file, I go to new, and then if I had a file created before, I can go to open, and then I open it. I go to new. Now it asks me several things. Sorry, does anybody know the size of this paper? A5. Yeah. Ah, A5. A5. This is A5. Now. A5. A5. Now. Double this is what? A4. This is A4. Yes, that's that's what I'm like It's the inverse uh, of the So as if we cut this into two now, that's A6. You mean the size? Yes. yes. That's A6. This is A6 now. This is A5. This is A4. Having four of this. That's A3. Having eight of this makes it even. So if you keep going like that, the papers can move you. So now, why I went into this is because you you determine your size here. This is A5, this size. Now, my design might be bigger than this. It might be small. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. Printers will be using this one. And not all printers. Mm -hmm. There are printers designed to, to print big. There are printers designed to print smaller. But I think the normal printer is designed to print letter. Letter size, letter length, letter depth, which is A4, our A4. But not international union as A4. Anyways. But A4 is like approximately this year. So, but if you wanted to print, or design something for the printer to show somebody on an info. Can I get an info? Yes. 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 Sorry. Sorry. So I'll, I'll bring it for you. Yes, that's the phone. So now, if I wanted to show a client, like in our case now, I wanted to design something on a paper, print it, and show someone, I might want to use a for I might want to use a for 